Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to make this blanket. I want to show you the stitch clearly. I really really love this stitch. I fall in love with this stitch and I will definitely uh, use it somewhere else like maybe a jumper, a um, sweater or a beanie, but anywhere else. I will use it more and more because so, it's so simple and it looks so beautiful and it's reversible I haven't hide these tails uh, yet but I want to show you you can use both sides and uh, I just use with stitch uh, for the border and I hope you like it for this one I used baby bee soft and sleek baby uh, one of them is 186 yards color pink able and recommend 6 mm crochet hook and I used 6 mm to uh, size 4 medium yarn and one of them is 114 grams I use 6 ball of yarn and uh, I really like this yarn it's so nice uh, it's soft but it's a little thick uh, maybe you want to use another yarn for this maybe a size 3 yarn softer yarn uh, as I said before uh, I really like this yarn B um, maybe B yarns uh, but this is with this stitch I recommend you maybe you can use something like that just a second maybe you can use something like that you see it's so soft it's the texture of this yarn but it's your choice of course and I used uh, five balls of yarn uh, for the blankets and for the border I use one more ball uh, but as I said it at the video you will need a little more than one ball for the border it will look more beautiful like that I think it looks beautiful like that too but uh, I think you can make one or two more rows and I want to give you the measurements too it's 33 inch long it's a square and uh, for a bigger version you will need more yarn of course and there will be a written pattern uh, for a few days uh, I will put it into the description box and comment section uh, and you can just check my website to itsinscrochet.com if you have any questions please leave comments and if you are ready please don't forget to subscribe to my channel let's start I will start with a slip knot and then chain multiples of three uh, that means make your chains three 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 like that and in the end we will add two more chains just for one time okay I will make 101 chains if you want to make it bigger you can add 333 three, three and make it bigger like that I'll make my chains and turn 
I made my 101 uh, chains. Yarn over, skip 1, 2, 3, 4. Into this fifth chain, insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over and pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2. Actually, we made a V stitch here. It's three chains for a double crochet, one chain for one chain uh, space, but I did this uh, two double crochet. Skip two into the third stitch, make a double chain one into the same place, make one more double crochet. Skip two into the third one, make a double chain one, one more double crochet. Skip two into the third one, double chain one, a double. It's so simple as you see. Skip two and make a V. I see you at the end of the row. I'm almost at the end. I have three stitches left. Into this third one, make one more V. And that's the end of the row. Chain three, turn. Uh, for this row, we will make Vs again, but not into these chains or here. We will make them here. Okay? These chains. Yarn over. Insert your hook into this second chain. You see, that's the first chain, that's the second and third. Insert your hook here. Grab the yarn. One, two. Chain one. And insert your hook into this third chain. Yarn over. Insert here, grab the yarn, make a V. Yarn over, skip here, insert your hook into this chain. Make a double, chain one, and into the next one, make one more. Skip here, insert into this first chain, make a double, chain one, into the next one, make one more double. Okay, that's our repeat for this row. Just make a double crochet here. Then chain one and double crochet into the next chain. And go ahead, finish this row. That's the last one. And now into this third chain here, yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn. Yarn over and pull through from all these loops. Make a half double crochet here. Then chain two, turn. And now we will make V stitch again. We made our base and now we will make our V stitch into these Vs from this first row. Insert here, grab the yarn, one, two, chain one, and again insert here, make a double. Skip here, 
and into this next V from the first row. Make a V stitch. Skip here and into this next V. Make a V. Skip this one here. Make a V. Keep making like that. I see it and I'm at the end again. Skip here and into this V. Make it double. Insert here and make a half double crochet. I prefer to make half double crochets and two chains here. If you want, you can make three chains too. It's up to you. Turn. And now we will work into the second row's V's. We made V's here into this first row's V's. And we will work into the second row's V's right now. Skip this one. Insert here. Make a V. Skip this, insert here, make a V. Skip this one, insert a V. And make one more. Now that's all. We will repeat this one. When you reach here, Make your last V here and join with a half double crochet into this two chain. Into the second chain, make half double crochet, turn, uh, chain two turn and this time we will work into this one. Okay. This ones. Always work into the uh, V-stitch two rows below. That's the one, that's the second row. Okay. Keep making like that. And when I finish, I will give you the measurements. Uh, see you. I made my blanket. It's 30 inch long and 30 inch long. It's a square. And I made the right side of my work. Uh, you see this tail is on the left side. So it's the right side of my work. But I am not uh, in the beginning. You see, I'm at the end. And starting from here, I will make the border. Chain one. Sorry, I made a chain before I think. Chain one. Insert into this stitch here. Make a single crochet. Chain two. Into here. You see this double crochet into this stitch, make a single crochet, chain two into the next stitch, skip here into this next stitch, make a single crochet, chain two, skip here into this next stitch. Make a single crochet. Actually, here is two row. There is a two chain and a half double crochet. 
I will skip these two rows and make a single crochet here. Chain two into the next one. Chain two into the next one. That's the place we made our half double crochet. Chain two. Make a single chain two. Make a single. Keep going like that. I'll see you at the end of the row. I made one here. Chain two and into this first chain. Make a single crochet. Chain three and into the same place. Make one more single crochet. Turn. Chain two, skip two into the uh, one, two, and into this third chain. Make a single crochet. Chain two into this third chain, make a single crochet. If it's hard to see it, you can make the single crochets into this V, into this chain we made V from the uh, first row. Okay, we made second rows V's here into these two chains. Chain two, make a single crochet here. Chain two, and make a single crochet here. And just keep making like that. Don't make these chains too tight. And when you reach here, repeat the same thing. Make one, and one, and one. You can make it like that. Uh, you must have the same uh, ch uh, single crochet or uh, space number with right here. And when you reach here, just make the same thing. Make a single crochet, chain two, and make a single crochet here chain to make a single crochet here just skip these and make a single crochet here 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 and keep making like that okay i'll see you at the end of the row i want to show you here too because um, it could be a little confusing skip two and here make a single crochet chain three and make one more single crochet into same place turn chain two and you can find the place that uh, that could make your work easy I will use this ones this time you see I will use this. Make a single crochet. Chain two, that's the next one. Make a single. Chain two, make a single. And keep making like that. Make the corner same and make the uh, this side like I show you. It's easy. And uh, I'll see at the end of the row. I'm making the last one into this last stitch. Chain three. And slip stitch from this first single crochet. And now I want to change the color. I will cut this yarn here. Thank you. 
and uh, use this ivory color. Uh, if you are using the same yarn, you can just uh, insert here with a slip stitch. Okay. I will join from here because um, I'm thinking like you are uh, just keep making with the same color. Okay. You will join here. You will insert here with a slip stitch. Then wait a minute. Just chain four. Insert into same place and make a double crochet. That's a V. And into the next space, make a V. Into the next one, make a V. And next one, two and just keep making like that i'll see you uh, at the corner i'm at the corner i'll make a v stitch here and then uh, don't make any chains insert in the same place and make one more v stitch that's our corner And here in this side we have totally 40, I have totally 49 uh, holes, space, and I have less here. I have 32, I think, or 33, I'm not sure. Uh, this is square, so I want to make here equal with here. So I will make it like that. Insert into this first space, make a V, and into this single crochet stitch here, make another. Into the space, make a V. And skip this single crochet stitch and into the other space make a V. Here make a V. Into the space make a V. Skip this one into the next space make a V. And make a way into this single crochet stitch and this space. I will make it like that and try to find the number 49. Uh, you can make it like that. Too. I'm not sure how many uh, spaces you have, but I think that will work for you too. You can have uh, one more, one less. It's not too important. Uh, just try to make here same. And into the corner you will make two V's. Here you can put a V stitch into every space. And at the opposite side here you will repeat this put one into single crochet one into this space then skip one single crochet just keep making like that i'll see you at the end i complete the first row and into this third chain join with a slip stitch insert into this v with a slip stitch chain four and same place, make one double crochet into the 
next one chain space Mercury and here next one chain space Mercury and into the next one Mercury and I will keep making like that just put one V stitch into this one chain space I'll see at the corner. I'm at the corner. I will put one V into this first V. And that's the second one. And between these two V stitches, I will make two V stitches. That's one. Don't make any chain and into same place. Make one. And into this next V, make a V. And into the next one, make one more. And one more. I will just keep making like that. Uh, in the corners, I will put one V here, one V here, and between these two, I will make two V-stitches. I will always make the same thing. And put V-stitch into V-stitch. And when you reach here, into this third chain, join with a slip stitch and insert into this V-stitch with a slip stitch. Chain four and keep repeating same thing. You can make it as long as you want. And then uh, when you finish, I'll see you. I made the border for three rows and join. Now I will make one, two, three, four, five, six. And into this third chain, insert wrap the yarn, pull through and make a double crochet in the same place into the next place make a double crochet you can understand now clearly chain three or two it's up to you insert into this first stitch Grab the yarn, pull through. That's a pico. And in the same place, make one more double crochet. Into the next one, make a double, chain three, make a pico, and make one more double. I will repeat the same thing for uh, the corners and here too. Just add these picots and finish this row like that. Hey. I have to work. I have to work. Just sit here, okay? <laughs> Do you like it? Do you like it? It's for girl. <laughs> I will make you uh, another blanket. <laughs> you know, I said I made three rows and then I made uh, I start this row, but I uh, didn't have enough yarn so I rip off this uh, last row totally and I made this but if you have uh, more yarns one ball of yarn uh, will not be enough for this if you have more yarn uh, you can make more rows it will look more beautiful I think with more rows uh, 
but this time I will uh, make it like that. And I want to show you corner too. I can make the corners same because that's the last row. It looks uh, beautiful the way I made them, I think. So you can make it like that too. Sorry if, sorry if I uh, confuse you a little, but um, for this blanket, I uh, I want to make it perfect. So uh, I change uh, my opinion time to time, and I want to share it with you. But if you made it the other uh, version, if you make two V here. It's okay too. If you like it like that, you can keep it. I want to show you. I just make a double crochet into this corners first V, then chain three, make a pico, and make one more double crochet into same place. Then I will uh, skip here. Don't make anything here. And into the next V, make a double, chain 3 and make a pico, make one more double. And into this last V stitch, make a double, one more, and join into this third chain with a slip stitch, chain one more, cut the yarn. And that's it. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please don't forget to push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Sirin's Crochet is my Instagram address. You can reach me there. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day.